Hello guys good day. Once again this is Bricks. Today I'm going to teach you how to transfer money from the Metrobank mobile to coins.ph. I'm sure most of you already know about coins.ph, but for those who aren't familiar with the app. Coins.ph is a financial services platform founded in 2014 by two Silicon Valley entrepreneurs in Metro Manila, Philippines. For me, it serves as my mobile wallet where I can also use it to trade for cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin etc. So without further ado let's get started. First, open the Metrobank application on your phone. After that, it will navigate you to the login page of the app. Enter your username and password, then hit login. Or if you have a fingerprint scanner on your phone, you can use it as your login format. Since I have already set mine, I'll just simply scan my finger on the sensor. After that it will navigate you to the main page of the app. Next, hit the menu button. Then hit transfer to other bank. After that it will display two options, one is Instapay and the other one is Personet. For me I'm going to choose Instapay, it is because it has real-time transaction. Once you have transferred the money, it will automatically display in your balance. While in Pesanet, I have used it once, the downside is, it is not real-time. You will need to wait an hour or days before it reflects on your balance. So I'll just hit Instapay. After that, it will display another options, enroll or transfer. If you choose to enroll, it will be saved in your Metrobank beneficiary. You will no longer need to enter again those necessary information once you do another transaction. While in transfer, it is useful for one-time transfer transactions. However, there are still options below where you can still save your transaction on your beneficiaries. So either both of this option can save your beneficiaries info to your account. In this sample I have chosen one-time transfer. Enter all the necessary information on the fields, such as bank, account number, name etc. In the bank, select DCPAY Philippines, this is the official bank of coins.ph. In account number, enter your phone number. Your phone number also serves as your account number in coins.ph. In beneficiary select individual. After entering the rest of the information, hit the switch save this beneficiary to save it in your account. After that click the next button, then tap your current savings. After that enter the amount you're going to transfer. Then hit next. After that it will navigate you to your transfer confirmation. You can put on remark fields your message to your recipient. Once done hit the submit button. After that, it will send an OTP or one-time password on your phone. In my case I have linked it on my phone, so I'll just hit the submit button. After that it will display an information that your transaction has been completed. Then you will receive a text message from coins.ph that you have successfully transferred the amount to your coins.ph wallet. Now let's go to coins.ph, to check our current balance. As you can see, the amount that has been transferred has reflected on our balance. So that's it guys, if you have questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer. If you like this video, please click the like button below, and hit the subscribe and the notification bell, to get updated on my latest video. So that's all guys, goodbye.